45 years. I never had a house. All, even since I was a little boy, I used to run away and go live in the bushes. That was my regular thing. I've always been homeless. The very first time since I've been on this planet that I'm not homeless is with her. Other than that, I would automatically run away and go live homeless because I didn't want to deal with the cops, the parole officer, the probation officer, so I would just run. And I'm scound until they catch me. And then do the time and get out and I'm scound again. I never really understood freedom like this. It's a different life. I, uh, I don't have any keys I can offer to homeless people that you can have a different life. But what I'm just bringing to your attention is it can be done. You would have to want to do it. If that's what you want. Homelessness and having a house is within reach. You can choose. If you need to hook up with a friend or a family member, I would advise you to do it. Get Learn to get along with them if you have to. Quit doing the heroin and cocaine if you have to, like I did. I mean, you know, be real about it. Yeah. Do you have any other kids you look forward to? No, I have no other children in this life at all. I did that with Mary Lou and then went right to jail. Nine months later, Mary Lou gave birth to her, and she went to Metropolitan State Hospital, so California put her in the adoption agency. Meanwhile, she was in foster homes. See? She never actually was raised by us. So when I found her, I didn't know what to think, you know? I didn't know what kind of life that she understood and what she, her, her way of life and wants and desires and so on and so forth. So certainly, with the opportunity, I got a chance to get to my daughter. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> So oh.
musical duo. I am otherwise known as Jenny Alpert. We love you and we will be here. Thank you so much. She has this uh, this light here in the, in the Hollywood area or Hollywood Hills area, whatever you call this area, the, uh, <laughs> Studio City area, whatever the area happened to be, which was far better than the area that I had, which was taken in the bushes by the gambling casino, supporting myself playing poker and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we talked about it and reasoned, hey, look, if I walk in jail and clean up my act and straighten out my problems with probation after all, was on the run from probation. <laughs> But uh, maybe we can uh, like uh, hook up together and maybe put some music together and, and, and uh, she can get me off of the streets. And with that, I'd have an opportunity to just start developing and, and living a little bit better and cleaning up my act. I cut loose with all the hard drugs. I don't like to mention it or not. <laughs> tonight on this Father's Day, a remarkable story of separation, reunion, and love. It's about a daughter who also happens to be a celebrated singer-songwriter and the two fathers in her life. Here's Gotti Schwartz. A simple question from a daughter to her father. Uh, what do I do? Our words done Logston, never expected to hear. I uh, had some problems with the law and I was using uh, drugs from the streets. It was a life that kept him from being the dad he wanted to be, so nearly 30 years ago, gave his daughter, musician Ginny Alpert, up for adoption. Her new parents nurturing her early love of music. My adoptive family gave me all the tools and skills, the practical life set that helped me develop as an individual. While not far away, the father she didn't know was playing his own guitar. As Ginny grew up, she faced her own tragedies, losing Bill Alpert, the man who raised her. It was very hard. We lost him to cancer almost 20 years ago. But she always wondered about her biological father. So four years ago, she hired a private investigator and found Don here, homeless. You knew exactly yeah, that moment right. that this was your daughter. Yeah, I didn't even need no DNA testing to prove that. She stayed with him on the streets for weeks. Were you scared that that would scare her away? Sure I was. I had no choice. I had to chance that. Otherwise, she would never know her dad. I saw him as a human being first, and then an extension of myself. She helped him through detox and probation, and eventually, Don and Jenny struck a chord. In music, they found a language only they speak. The reunion, the topic of an award-winning documentary. Jenny only wishing the father who raised her could see her performing with the man who gave her life. He's still with us. And on this Father's Day, one dad, thankful for the other. I don't believe a man on earth could have done a better job. Gratitude for a chance to share his daughter's love. Gotti Schwartz, NBC News, Los Angeles. Happy Father's Special Day. Special guest, they look alike, and your dad, <laughs> he looks fly. <laughs> I didn't know if he was still alive. I'm right where I, I didn't know that he was a musician. Playing guitar and singing songs. I didn't think my relationship to music just comes out of nowhere. I'm trying to use the music part of it to get myself where I once was. The next option is a sober living home. Do you know that I know what you're telling me better than anyone in the world? People think that I just don't care, but they don't know what's going on in here. I ain't never had nobody do nothing like that for me before. Maybe someday I'll pay you for what you've done. Well, I'm in your life because I want to be in Well, I didn't know any of that. Because of you. Guess you could say I'm up in the 